Welcome to my presentation about representation learning techniques for tracking and time-resolved 3D ultrasound. 3D ultrasound is a promising image modality for therapy guidance, for example in radiotherapy. Though automatic target tracking methods in 3D ultrasound are challenging because of the high dimensionality of the 3D images and because of the low image quality, noise and artifacts that may appear in the ultrasound images. One approach to deal with these challenges is to use representation learning for ultrasound patches. The target motion that is considered in the study is the deformation, which means that the target location is correct, but the target shape changed in contrast to the reference patch. The other one is translation, which means that the target location changed, but the target shape is the same as to the reference patch. For the target tracking task, Deformation is acceptable as the target location is correct, but translation is not acceptable as the target location changed and following the exact target location is the task of the tracking. The learning models that were used in the study um, are the conventional autoencoder, the variational autoencoder and a slice Wasserstein autoencoder. All of these autoencoders map the input patches into a 128 dimensional representation space in the bottleneck. The data used in this study is a 4D ultrasound liver data set of one healthy subject. The data were acquired continuously over about 30 minutes. The data set is separated into a training phase and into a test phase. 40,000 patches were randomly selected from the training phase to have a data set to train the autoencoders. From the test phase, 10 patches were randomly selected. For all of these patches, 50 translations were generated and 50 deformations were augmented to generate two subsets, one for a translation test set and one for a deformation test set. The two test sets were mapped into the representation spaces of the autoencoders using the encoder parts. To visualize the representation spaces, um, a principal component analysis were performed to the representation spaces. On the left hand side, you can see the two main axes um, of the representation space of the deformation test set. And on the right hand side, you can see the uh, test set uh, for the translations. Both representation spaces uh, that were shown here were a um, generated uh, using the conventional autoencoder. To evaluate the distribution in the representation spaces, a k-means cluster algorithm were performed to find the 10 clusters inside the representation space. To quantify the results, uh, first the rate of correct classified samples um, is determined, which is the precision. Um, secondly, the kalinsky haraba score were determined, which is a rate between the intra-cluster and the inter-cluster um, distribution. It can be seen that the conventional autoencoder and the slice Wasserstein autoencoder were able to cluster the deformation test set without any errors. Only the variational autoencoder did some errors in the deformation test set. It can also be seen that the slice Wasserstein autoencoder achieved the highest kalinsky haraba score in the deformation test set, which means that the uh, dispersion is in the representation space of the slice Wasserstein autoencoder uh, the best in contrast to the other ones. In addition, in the translation test set, the cluster, uh, clustering algorithm were not able to find very meaningful clusters. Here, it can also be seen that the slice Wasserstein autoencoder achieved the, the best results. These results are promising for the target tra tracking task, because as I said before, the deformation motion is acceptable for target tracking, but the translation motion is not acceptable. In this study, we proposed a method to evaluate the re representation learning techniques for a specific task, in our case, for tracking. We showed that it is possible to cluster deformed ultrasound patches in the representation space of autoencoders, but the cluster performance varies between the different learning techniques. 
In this study, the SLICE Wasserstein autoencoder provides the best resource. So in future studies, we will um, perform target tracking in the representation space of a SLICE Wasserstein autoencoder in 4D ultrasound. Thank you very much for your attention.